Hello and welcome to Bitfumes and we are on PayPal payment integration and we are doing some refactoring. This is the time to refactor the execute codes. So we have done various things. In the last episode, we have created a dedicated file for PayPal, then again a dedicated file to create payment. And by doing that, we have just come up with this much amount of two line code on our controller. So, you know, in a controller, the task of controller is to just initiate the process. And then all the processes has to be taken care by dedicated class or other things. So in this class, we are just doing an initiation of the class and then we are saying, okay, payment then create so create the payment and all the logic related to the creating of the payment goes here inside the create payment similar to this after creating the payment our user is redirected to uh, execute part so now it's time to refactor this execute so likewise we have done for create payment let's create another php class for execute payment simple php class and we know we need to extend paypal this is the class where we have the credentials now let's again create a function so public function and execute this is the function i am going to create and let's copy everything from here so that we can refactor it so cut from here paste it here so as we know we just need to remove this one because we have extended the PayPal class which already includes these credentials of API context so let's go here and the first thing I'm going to do is using this as a this arrow API context let's import this class yeah we have done that so you can see we are getting the payment via this payment id so let's do refactor so control t refactoring to a method and i will say get the payment it's a protected function create it so that's done then we are creating the execution so let's again refactor to a method and i will say uh, create execution and that's done then we are initializing the transaction and we are using transaction here so what we can do you can see we are initializing detail and then we are using these details so refactor this to a method so it's details it's done and then amount so let's grab this from here paste it here and then refactor so method of amount that is also done and now the last time is for transaction so let's say once more for transaction transaction yeah this is done and then we are using a, a transaction here on the execute then we are saying payment execute it and let's use api context here also so we have done that but like you know we can inline things so let's say inline which is done then again inline which is also done and the last time inline done so in this function the execute function we require the payment we require the execution because we need to use this execute part on the payment but one thing we can do we can say uh, refactor this or inline this so it is inlined but create execution is required here also so it's not a good idea to refactor it uh, because we we need this execution uh, variable so that we can add the transaction and then we will pass that execution to payment so these two lines are required but we can remove all these classes and move to that dedicated class likewise detail is used by amount only so go to amount remove the details from there and i will say it's details 
that is done then we can remove detail from here likewise transaction is using amount not this execute so we can remove amount from here and on the transaction we can simply say this arrow amount simple okay then what we are doing here we can see the execute method is becoming very less and let's say something so we have included that class update the dog box to update dog box on mac i am using alt and enter or option or enter so maybe you can do that also include this which is also already included import class import this class and then for details update dog box yeah this was not included once again for transaction okay so these things are done so let's go on chrome and let's see the result so yeah we have but i think i forgot one thing yeah i need to call this class here so i will say execute or uh, i will say execute to, uh, again once more i will say payment is equal to execute payment and this has to be new execute payment class then i will say payment arrow execute and let's return it so that i can get all the return variable which will return as a result okay so go on chrome uh, not chrome firefox pay now and yeah we need to log in and now you can see it's asking to continue but before continue let me show you here if i log into my sandbox account and let's see the amount we have till now on our sandbox account which is 152 dollars so let's continue here and it will authenticate the user and redirect to the execute part and then we will see the result and yes you can see we are having this result and if i now uh, refresh here we will see updated 162 dollar approx it's 171 because yeah 18 dollar plus okay so it is done and yeah that's for the refactoring but still wait we have to do some more refactoring because our create payment and execute payment has some similarities what are the similarities like this see this detail file here and see this detail here not file <laughs> it's a function so these two are exactly same so why not pull this into our base class so again refactor and i will say pull and pulling detail class so refactor so now we can see that class is included in our paypal class which is here so now we are doing these things and we can simply remove detail function from create payment then amount let's see what about the amount amount is exactly same amount usd 20 and using the detail amount usd 20 and using the detail so once more pull it up and that's done so let's remove amount from here and likewise i think everything is done so these two methods we have pulled here and now our execute class just have four function one two three and four and create payment class has one two three four five five functions so it's good now you will say sartha that's good but we are not going to hard code things here yeah that's the valid point but you know i just explained you how you can refactor things now it's your task what you need to do you just need to pass the request all here so that whenever a user is passing something you can just get the items what items you have user have on their cart then you can pass it then on the create part you can do looping and add 
that uh, items in your list and uh, obviously while looping you can set the amount you can uh, add the amount and do anything you want so that's why i have not done that so that you can just do some brainstorming i'm not going to do like smooth feeding to you so do some research explore with these things and see how you come up with your own code so that you will be able to create awesome things so as you know this course took lots of effort to create and you just need to support bitfilms if you like these episodes for doing that you just need to follow on twitter facebook and instagram share these videos with your friend and if you have not subscribed to this channel go and subscribe we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye